Hi, this is PDF Berserk Arcade at berserkarcade.com, and this is tutorial 230. So in our last tutorial, we went ahead and made a, well, we overviewed the armor system. So we went ahead and made the adjustments to our PC class that allows us to have an array of equipped items. And pretty soon, we're actually going to have to get into creating a method to equip our shield. And for those who have been following along, you'll probably notice that it's probably going to be almost exactly the same as equip weapon. Uh, the difference being the place where we're going to be equipping it. And there's probably some way we can actually, you know, generalize this to have a method just that just equips a an item. And well, we'll, we'll get into that. First, what we want to do is actually just start creating shields. So I'm going to come into here and where we have item equals create weapon. Uh, for now, I'm just going to comment that out. And actually, I'm just going to copy it. And instead of creating an a weapon now I want to create armor now I do not have this method yet so I'm going to come I guess I'll come all the way down to the bottom here and I'm just going to say create armor and well I believe I was making these public I'm actually going to delete these now uh, just to save some room uh, so we had create weapon being private I could see possibly open this up to be in public in case we only actually want to create a weapon. Uh, but for now, we'll just keep following along with the way we've been doing things. We'll make it private. So private, uh, we'll return a weapon, or sorry, an armor piece. And it's called create armor. I do not believe it receives any parameters. And actually, if we just come up here, we'll just copy everything out of here because we know it's going to be the exact same except for uh, the type of item that's created. So we start off, we'll just say armor, uh, lowercase armor is equal to, and then there's going to be different types of armor that we want to create, you know, like the headgear, uh, the torso and stuff like that. For now, we're just going to be working on a shield. So I'm just going to say create shield. And we will have to make that method. And I'll just quickly come down here and do it. So private void. I'm sorry. It, it's, it returns uh, an armor piece. And we could also just return an item. Uh, we talked about uh, the inheritance before. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to keep it as an armor. And right here, I'll return our armor. And I'm also going to clean up the comments here. Uh, return the armor created. Uh, decide if we want to make. Uh, so decide what type of armor to make. And once we start getting into the other armor types, we'll have to find some a way to pick between the different armor types. For now, like I said, we're just going to create the shield. Uh, so we come down here, and that's the exact same as what we have down here. So again, you can just cut and paste this, use it as a, a template. And after we've probably done a few of them, you might be able to come back and go, hey, look, you know, there's, there's so many things here that are the same. We could easily either convert just one method, to make, a, make it generic, or uh, break some of these parts out into other methods. But let's go ahead and take a look, see how it works. So we're going to start off with an armor. And I'm just going to call it, uh, well, armor. <laughs> and it's going to be a new armor. Now the string here will be for weapon names, uh, except we're going to call our, our shield names. And if I spell it right. And it's going to be equal to a new string. And I only actually have two shields. I'll have to take a look. I'm pretty sure there's only two shields. And I'm just going to call it small shield and large shield. And I'm not even sure if there's actually a size, size difference. I could easily just call it shield one, shield two. And you'll have to excuse the speed of my typing. I've sprained my wrist the other day. And it's, well, it's not that bad as far as pain-wise goes. It's just hard to reach some of the keys. 
Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at our, our shields and make sure they're named properly. So we'll come back into Unity. And I have mine saved up under resources. So I'm going to come down. Uh, we'll go under armor. Let me just shrink some of this up. And here we go for shields. And here's the two different shields. So I guess I could call one uh, round shield kite. But I'm just going to call this one small shield. And large shield. And then I'll come down to the actual meshes, and we'll have to find them in here. Here they are, and this is the large shield. And hopefully I'm spelling it right. This will make this the small shield. There we go. And I also I do have some errors here. Let me just check this out. Create armor. Uh, I was oh okay. These were static. That's fine. We'll just keep them all static. And we'll see if that gets rid of the errors. Uh, okay, we have to say what method we're going to use here. And this was create armor. Yeah, we'll come back in. We'll just see if we can keep getting rid of the errors. Uh, and these here are because we haven't got to that part yet. That's fine. I just wanted to make sure I had the uh, names done right. All right, so we have small shield, large shield. I want to come through and I'm going to get rid of all the weapon names. So let's go through, and just like before, we're going to go through, we're going to grab the array, we're going to get the total length, and we're just going to do a random range between them. Uh, so the length actually comes out to be 2, so we're going to have a range between 0 and 1. And that's fine. Then uh, assign the max damage. So instead of melee weapon here, we're now going to have armor. And of course, we could have also just called this shield as well. Uh, except we're going to have different properties here. We're not going to have uh, these particular properties. Uh, so let's actually make sure the comments are the same as well, or fit to what we're making. So I'm just going to assign a few of the properties for our shield here. So assign properties for the shield. And if we just come over and look at the armor class, or the, yeah, the armor class. Uh, one of the things is armor level, uh, so we'll just go ahead and assign that. So I'm going to say armor dot armor level is equal to, and we're just going to grab a random range again. So I'm just going to cut and paste that. And we'll want to assign an armor level. Oh, let's say I don't know between uh, ten and fifty to start off with, just to make sure everything's working fine. And we can go back into armor, see if there's anything else we want to assign. Uh, there's an armor slot. Now, we actually, I didn't date this, but we actually designed this class quite a while ago. I believe we went over it during live show number two. Uh, this is when we originally created. Now, we might be getting rid of these now, uh, this enumeration here for our slots. And we actually might switch over to the slots that we're creating down here. Uh, let me just go back and take a quick look here. Uh, it's definitely something to think about. Uh, I'll do a little bit of think about it off camera. I don't really see a need for this anymore. Mm. Uh, yeah, I really don't see it. We could still use it, uh, but we might not need it anymore. But we'll look at that a little bit later on, maybe during uh, this week's live show. Uh, let's just come back to our item generation script and... For now, we're just going to leave the armor level there. We do have some miscellaneous properties up here that are going to be made. Uh, for instance, it's value, it's rarity. Well, rarity we're automatically assigning common value to because we don't want to deal with uh, uncommon and rare items yet. Uh, it's max durability, minimum durability, or sorry, current durability. And we're going to return it. So that's 
pretty much it for here. It's not a whole lot of properties you're going to work with. Uh, assign the max range, but there is no range. Uh, okay, well, we do want to load the icon for it. So we want to grab the armor dot icon equals, and we'll want to change the path here. We're going to need the path now to our actual icons for our, our, our armor. And while I'm here, I'm also going to change this to armor.name. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if we actually have this uh, path set yet. I don't believe we do, so I'm going to come over to uh, Unity and take a look at Game Settings 2. And I'll just load that up. And I actually want to see what this error was. Uh, shield names dot length. Uh, what was the error? Ah. This should have been armor. There we go. So we assign the name of uh, this particular piece of armor. And that should get rid of the error. And of course, it does give us a new one uh, right here. So we're just going to return armor. All right. And that should get rid of all the errors. And it does. And let's go ahead and look at game settings too. I see we have a path for our icons for our items or for our armor. And if we come down here, male, female, human, uh, what exactly are we calling it? Uh, I'm just going to do a search for it uh, right here. So we have melee weapon icons, melee weapon meshes. Uh, let's just copy these two. I'm going to go right below it and um, there's a couple ways I'd like to break these out. So we're doing melee here. Uh, let's do shields here. So we'll say shield, S-H-I-E-L-D, underscore, and I'm just going to say icon path. And likewise here, shield mesh path. And then go ahead into Unity and figure out where these are. So I'm actually going to be moving this stuff around. Uh, clear up my search. And I'll come into my resources folder because that's where the root will be, where it starts to look. And the first thing it's going to do is come down to item. And let me just find it. It's right here, item. All right. And then we go into icon. And for the shield, so we go into icon, and then we'll want to come into armor. And I'm actually just going to cut and paste just to cut down on some of the type typos. So we get armor, and then it looks like we're going to go come down to shields. Now I'm debating on whether or not I want this to be plural, and I think I will keep it for plural for now. And if I ever do change it, I'll just come back and change it here. So, shields. And then we have the name, but I only want the path to get here. So that works out fine. So I'm going to close out icon and take a look at this one here for our mesh. So we got icon mesh, or sorry, item mesh, uh, which is right. We come down to item, we go into mesh. Uh, next will be armor. And I'm just going to cut and paste from there. It's spelt the same. And did I break this out into shield? I did not break this out into different types of armor. And I'm going to do that for now. I'm going to create a folder. And I'm going to call this shields. And I'm going to take my large shield, just drag it in. And my small shield, drag it in. And I just like that extra level of organization. So we'll have helmets and everything else that needs to be put where it has to be put and I'm gonna come down here and yep everything's in there that I need so I'll come in and I'll just actually cut and paste this so really the only difference is one goes to an icon path and one goes to the mesh path so I'm gonna save that off I'm gonna come back into item generator and I'm just gonna change this path and this was actually for the icon so shield icon path I'll save that off and let's 
put it back to the way it's supposed to be. We'll shrink it. Uh, let's put this the back way it's supposed to be. And let's run it and see if we get any errors. All right, so let's open it up. And here we go. We actually have uh, shields being made. If you notice the durability, I can't remember exactly what I put the range on. Uh, let me just take a look here. I thought my range was lower for durability on my shields, but let me just check. It might not have been. Uh, 10 to 50. Well, that's the armor level, sorry. And yeah, all my armor levels. I'm not even displaying my armor level, so I do need to create the tooltip for that. Uh, but let's go ahead and grab these. Open up our inventory. And a character spot. And we don't actually have a spot for it yet. Uh, but we are grabbing them. And if we double click them, we'll notice that it does equip it into our weapon spot. Uh, but uh, we're not grabbing the proper prefab. And uh, it really should not be going to our weapon spot. Uh, so we're going to work on that in the next tutorial. So let's just go ahead and stop this. And this should put us just over 16 minutes. So I'm going to stop this one here and we'll continue on in the next one. And, well, like always, uh, make sure you rate this video, and if you don't want to miss an episode, uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.